Guitar solos that live in the collective mind, that shape the sound of music as we know it today. I think one can say that these are almost mandatory for every guitarist to learn. Not only to pay an homage to those that paved the way, but also to understand where the legacy comes from. Solos that made the guitar the instrument it is today. So here's 10 solos that aren't very difficult to play, so there's no reason not to learn them. Grab your favorites and start playing. Minor pentatonic scale, ladies and gentlemen, what else do we need? <laughs> Not much, right? So it was Eric Clapton who, with the use of bending and vibratos, made the solo in While My Guitar Gently Weeps a true masterpiece. The guitar he used is called Lucy, which was a late 50s Gibson Les Paul that Clapton had gifted to George Harrison, who later used the guitar in many more recordings, and we could also see it in the series Get Back that recently aired, by the way, where you witnessed something truly magical. So usually this would mean game over for a last ball. Anyway, next up. This guitar solo for me is to prove that often the best solos are very simple and elegant. So this is probably my favorite John Mayer song out there. And that lovely guitar solo is just the cherry on the cake for me. So brilliant phrasing, gorgeous tone. His fingers just have that m magic touch. <laughs> I guess so. Anyway, here's John Mayer's Gravity. So next up, for me this is probably one of Kirk Hammett's best moments. A solo played over an already just as iconic acoustic intro by the way. This is what made me love the guitar and I remember having so much trouble with that very fast bit at the end. <laughs> anyway, it didn't stop me, it shouldn't stop you from playing the solo. So um, did you know there's a modulation at the end by the way? The whole intro is in B minor with the solo but then at the end and the rest of the song is in a minor. So that last ascending run is where he shifts. Anyway, here is Metallica's Fade to Black. So John Frusciante shows us that you don't have to be a technical wizard to define the sound of one of the biggest rock bands out there. His playing is enigmatic, pure and so direct, which is beautifully portrayed in this minimalistic solo section. The song itself is in A minor, but the solo is played in A major or F sharp minor, if they are relative keys. And that by itself is quite an odd choice. But therefore, this solo piece really stands out. Here's the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. <music>
Daisy Wright. Next up, it's David Gilmour's magic touch that puts so much weight into this solo. From bending to the vibratos and from that tone to the phrasing is just all there. Also interesting to note is that there is actually a key change again in this solo. It starts in D major and halfway it suddenly goes to C major, a whole tone down. I think everyone agrees that this is probably one of the most iconic solos of all time. Here's Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb. <laughs> So next up, here's a lovely slow blues in A with probably world's most tasty bands displayed by Peter Green. A great showcase of how much you can do with just a few notes. So Green uses the often seen BB King box and I made a whole video about that that you can check out over here by the way. Um, it's a scale pattern that works so well on the blues because you can bend the notes a half step, a whole step or even one and a half steps up to accommodate for the chord changes that are happening underneath. And that's exactly what Mr. Green does. So here's Fleetwood Mac's Need Your Love So Bad. <laughs> you're doing is maybe even cooler. So if you want to play your own solos like this, I suggest checking out my guitar course, Next Level Playing, where at the end of each of the seven levels, we combine everything we learned in that level in an awesome solo that I'm explaining to you step by step. And of course, it comes with backing tracks, with taps, and we go from the caged system to the target notes and to the modes like Dorian and Mixolydian to Panatonics, of course, but also a rhythm guitar is extensively discussed with loads of awesome exercises and lessons. So please check it out at nextlevelplaying.com. And now let's move on because there are songs that you always remember the first time you heard that. And I had exactly that with the song Plug In Baby by Muse. The band took the world by surprise with that raw, vulgar, fuzz tone that came from the Zvex. Fuzz Factory, by the way. So Matt Bellamy actually had this pedal installed in his Manson guitar. Just brilliant. That sound combined with the use of the harmonic minor scale, which gives it that classical feel, makes it one of the most eclectic guitar songs out there. And maybe it's more of a riff than a solo. I don't, I don't know, I'm not here for semantics, but let's go. <laughs> So next up, I think everyone needs to try some Jeff Beck at least once in their lives. How the man plays, how he articulates, he was so ahead of his time. So this song is packed with volume swells, with bends, with vibratos, all the tricks known to man are displayed. And oftentimes you gotta listen extremely carefully to, to hear exactly what he's doing. He changes it all the time. 
So this intro theme is just so immensely beautiful, how it follows the progression, how it resolves. It's a must know for every guitarist. Here's Jeff Beck's Cause We've Ended As Lovers. Kurt Cobain making the list with his fantastic songwriting and guitar playing skills. This solo works so well because he's basically playing the vocal melody from the song on the guitar and yes, that works brilliantly. In the radio edit, the solo is cut in half, so I'm always happy to hear the full length of it. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. Non-pretentious, in your face, it does exactly what it's supposed to do and nothing more. Here is Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit. up how can we make such a list and not have Brian May on here so this perfect solo just ticks all the boxes it moves ever so elegantly between the chords that are all over the place by the way the phrasing is just brilliant meandering through different scales but also always paying respect to that hit song we all know but the coolest thing May does is playing guitar with a six a six pence coin well, we don't have pences over here, but I found that a five cents coin <laughs> works just as well. It gives you the attack you need to get closer to his majestic tone. Anyway, here is Queen's crazy little thing called Love. gently hitting that like button which really means a lot for me i'd love to hear from you and why you think this list is wrong i'd love to hear your suggestions down in the comments what songs should be on this list as well and of course when you're done playing these solos i'd love for you to check out the next level playing too all the links are in the description but for now i wish you a lovely day and i hope to see you soon with another video cheers mm -hmm.